All right, welcome viewers. Uh, so today we are going to be adding some nitrogen to the Fox gas charge shocks on this uh, Revolt. And so this machine uh, has uh, quite a few hours on it. It's quite a few years old. And uh, what I noticed when it came in here for a little bit of maintenance is the just at rest, um, the distance of what the shock is showing. So there's my hand, pretty much the width of my hand. Um, that seemed a little bit low, so that's one way to just visually uh, take a look at it. Uh, so come over here to a brand new one, or almost brand new one. we got some hours on this thing by now. Put my hand here again, and you can see I've probably got an extra inch and a half of the uh, shock showing again when it's at rest. So this would be something where you've taxied the aircraft with the wing on, with at least the pilot in it, and we're just kind of assessing how the suspension is uh, settling in. Another good way to look at it is um, the tire should be square to the ground, 90 degrees, or the top of the tire should actually be out slightly. So that's another good way. And if we come around to the back of this aircraft, you'll see that uh, this tire is probably 90 degrees, but it might also be tilted in a half a degree or so. So it's, it's getting to the point where it needs a little bit of air. So we run 600 PSI in these Fox shocks. And uh, my guess is this probably has uh, less than 500 in it right now. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see. Now, before we get started, uh, we've got our nitrogen here. We've got about uh, 1,800 PSI in this bottle. So this will do shocks for days and days. Um, we've got a regulator on here. And I've got one more gauge at the very top when I turn this on and off here. And a very special fitting that's going to go on to what looks like a uh, inner tube uh, valve. It's uh, basically the same thing. And, uh, but this needs to thread on because we're dealing with 600 PSI of pressure. So before we can start, what we need to do is we need to hyperextend the shocks on this Revolt. And uh, you may think you, you might need a, a crane or a hoist to do so, but if you own a Revo, you probably, uh, Revolt, you probably know this trick. Uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push up in this direction and I'm gonna extend this shock out. So here's my hand covering what's exposed. And now, now take a look. So we've pulled another inch and a half, two inches out of that shock. And so now we're ready to be able to fill it. So when you take off this valve cap, very, very good idea not to put it on the aircraft. Set that aside, put it on the floor, whatever you need to do. So if you look at our gauges, we've got just over 600 PSI on this gauge and we need a little bit more than six to get 600 up here at the gauge and so the way this works is now normally you may want to have a wrench but if you know this little trick um, you can get away without the wrench but once you get snug with your fingers what you're going to do is just turn the whole valve and that's tight enough now i'm going to go ahead and turn this valve Now we're gonna add some more to it. This way, there's our 600 right there. And now we're going to close the valve. And then we break it loose. There's just gonna be a little tiny bit that escapes. But again, this valve was closed when that little bit did escape. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead, close our bottle. We're gonna release. That's it. And so now we've added 600 PSI to our shock system. Get our cap back on. And this is actually really important. Uh, you can't just run the shocks real soft uh, just because you like that setting. The length of these struts and, and um, how much pressure is here really actually affects the geometry, especially like on takeoff. It helps to transfer the load as you start to push the bar forward to the back tires. And if these are too soft, you will not get the transfer of weight to the back wheels on takeoff especially. And so it really can mess with the geometry of the Revolt. So very important that you uh, keep your shocks up to 600 PSI. Uh, they'll probably need it every few years. Just kind of all depends on uh, your environment, how much you're flying. Um, but it's something uh, definitely to maybe have a look at uh, every annual, every other annual that uh, you do on your uh, Revolt. So thanks for watching, and that's how you add nitrogen to your Revolt. Thanks.